Cześć kochani, it's Basia and welcome to my kitchen. Today we will be making ghee, which is also known as a clarified butter. And I know you can buy it pretty, um, pretty commonly right now in different stores, uh, mostly in, a, in Indian stores. But why not to make your own? I always encourage everyone to make your own because not only it's uh, cheaper, but also you can um, control the quality of ingredients that you're using. So whether you choose to uh, to make it with a regular butter or organic butter like I will be uh, making, make sure that the butter is pure and it's a high content of fat. So the process is very simple and uh, let's get started. Here I have three blocks of butter. Uh, this is organic butter and each of them is 250 grams. And I will be using pot with a heavy bottom. This is important because we will be melting this butter and cooking it uh, until the solids separate from the fat. So if we have thick bottom, there is less chances for us to burn the solids, which may fall into the bottom of the pan. So I'm going to uh, preheat my stove and I'm going to preheat to low. And now I'm going to place the butter in. And now I will allow for the butter to melt very, very slowly. As I mentioned before, we don't want to, uh, to burn this, the, the milk solids. And um, ghee, the clarified butter, is one of those uh, fats that I use in my cooking most commonly. I also use extra virgin olive oil and coconut oil. I started using cl clarified butter years ago when I was uh, introduced to Ayurvedic uh, medicine and I learned that it really has a lot of health properties. So since then it is really staple in my uh, kitchen. While making this ghee I would recommend for you not to walk away from it. It's, the entire process will take about 10-15 minutes uh, but please stay close by so you can keep eye on, uh, on your melting butter. So as you can see the butter is melt melting pretty fast. We are already almost halfway done and if you look closer, I hope you can see it on camera, you start to see the separation you can see it more on the side, the separation of fat and the opaque yellowish uh, milk solid. So for the pot that we are using, it's good to not to have something that is very, very shallow. Something that is taller. This one is about two liter and I found that this is perfect for three or four um, blocks of, uh, of butter at the same time. And I wouldn't put more than four to 250 grams for it because we don't want the butter to go very close to the, to the surface because when it starts bubbling, uh, there is a risk of the butter just to uh, simply to overflow. So it's been about five minutes for the butter to melt and it's completely melted. We can see nice formation of the foam uh, which is made of uh, the milk solids and now we will just allow it to cook it slowly without any stirring and allow the process happening. You can see this beautiful bubble coming and it is better to keep it on very low than risk burning or, or over, overflowing. So now I'm going to let it cook for about 2-3 minutes and I will keep close eye on it to see what is happening in the pot. And as the fat is bubbling, uh, was bubbling underneath this foam, it, it caused um, the water to evaporate and now we have only the milk solid. And at this point it shouldn't take more than about 5, 7, maybe 10 minutes um, for our ghee to be done. I wouldn't recommend for it to boil more vigorous than, he, than as you can see in the pot. I've done it before in the past, I ended up with burning my, uh, my ghee, um, so it's better to go a little slower and longer than rush the process. So it's been about uh, four or five minutes and uh, now I'm going just to very gently touch the solids that, that are floating at the surface just to kind of help them to fall to the bottom. As you can see it's less and less 
floating almost all the water from the from the milk evaporated and the fat is getting clearer and clearer please be very careful because this is this is very hot but just just gently moves you don't even have to do that eventually they will fall to the bottom and we will continue cooking and when making your clarified butter you will see the quality of the butter that you actually been using the higher content of fat the less of the milk solids of course you will have and whether you use salted butter on all, or, or unsalted it's completely up to you i prefer to use unsalted it, it gives me better control over how much salt I, I want to use and also if i want to use um, with some kind of sweet cooking then the salt doesn't affect the flavor as you can see the process is very very simple it's just the patience that will pay off at the end one thing you don't want to stir it hard because you don't want to disturb the solids that already are at the bottom of the pot almost done and the good test of knowing if it's done is first when you look into the pot you see that that the liquid is very very clear comparing to how it was at the beginning or even five minutes ago and when we take our spoon and now we see that this is pure clear fat which means one minute one two minutes and this is done and you can also observe when the water evaporates also the cooking the bubbling is not that vigorous it's really getting a calmer and calmer and calmer and this is good indication that there is almost no water left in this butter okay and this is done beautiful clear rich in color and almost no solids left that's that's what is left of my spoon so now i'm just going to take the pot off the stove and it continues to cook a little bit i'm going to wait for it to to completely stop the process and then we will place it in our jar we will pour it into our jar i have my funnel sifter and cheesecloth that I just folded um, in half so it's a double layer of cheesecloth and let's pour please be very very careful so beautiful And this is what is left over in our pot to the last drop perfect and our ghee is ready kohani so about 20 minutes later we are rewarded with a beautiful jar of this gold um, and he, if you would like to learn a little more about uh, the health benefits of ghee uh, especially from the ayurvedic point of view i have an article on my website uh, so i'm invi i am inviting you to go and, and check it out and now i'm just going to let cool and it will solidify it will have this kind of like a grainy grainy consistency it will not remain liquid and this is very very normal so i hope hope now you are all inspired to go and make your own clarified butter and enjoy all the benefits uh, that can offer to us and this is all for today i thank you for being here and i see you next time